Hello, my name is Estelle and I'm an educator here at the museum. Our pharmacy display includes a beautiful marble top soda fountain, originally located in the Medical Arts Pharmacy of Baltimore. Many local pharmacies offered more than just ice cream treats at their soda fountains. They also served food. Before civil rights legislation was passed, not all patrons were allowed service at Baltimore lunch counters and restaurants. A policy of racial segregation prevented African-American citizens from using these facilities. Reed's drugstore chain became the focus of an anti-discrimination movement in the 1950s. Students from Morgan State College and members of the Baltimore chapter of CORE, Congress of Racial Equality, began a campaign to end the policy. On January 20th, 1955, a group of seven Morgan State students entered the downtown Reeds and sat down at the lunch counter. This was the first sit-in of the civil rights movement. They were asked to leave and the police were called when they refused. Dr. Helen Hicks, one of the students, reported, we were just determined. They weren't going to put us out based on nothing, just because we were black. We were as good as anybody else. We were worthy as anybody else. After half an hour, the students decided to end their protest. The event ended peacefully. Reeds made the decision to integrate all of their 39 stores. On January 22nd, the Afro-American newspaper headline declared, Now serve all. And Reed's president stated, we will serve all customers throughout our entire stores, including the fountains, and this becomes effective immediately. The Baltimore sit-in became a model for future sit-in demonstrations during the struggle for civil rights.